These woods are at the northern end of the Swan Pond at Killeen Country Park. And hidden within here is the old ice house. An impressive mound with thick walls. Originally a double door to help the insulation. And going down would be a cone-shaped receptacle for the ice to go, usually with a drain beneath. Seeing as the swan pond is close by, that's where the source of the ice would be from. Although in a very warm winter, the uh, aristocracy would import ice from Scandinavia. The ice was broken up and layered with layers of either straw or often with layers of ferns in between. And this wasn't used for storing food, this was for bringing the ice to the castle kitchens where it was used to cool food, preserve food and so on. it quickly became redundant once the fridge had been invented. But all country estates had to have one, this being the sort of standard design. Most ice houses are found within woodlands, though technically that was a mistake as the high levels of moisture here resulted in the heat getting into the ice house much more easily. To most people at the time, ice houses were a bit of a mystery, and this led to various suggestions as to what they were actually for. People sometimes would believe that the entrance to lay tunnels, that is, underground escape passages and so on, This is the cold room that leads on to the Robert Adams Ice House, the second ice house at Kalein. It's the only one he's known to have ever designed. This lies some distance from the Swan Pond, but it would have been worth bringing the ice here for convenience for the kitchens.